it, Wendy. Give me your conclusions or give me the data. I can't read when you're talking. Residuum retention is at 80%. A 20% loss? Bringing the vessel here from the control room is tricky. Residuum appears to vanish during the transfer. Obviously, but where is it? The trinket creation process is impacted. We need to repeat the test, see if the results change. What is the purpose of having you here if you just tell me things that I already know? <sighs> Have an original thought, or go back to whenever you came from. All women are people. But what if they aren't? Are you saying that we are capable of inferior thinking? Not all, but some. Hypothesis. Minute fluctuations in transit create microscopic deficiencies that become emergent. Where's the if and and? Don't be obtuse. It's a working hypothesis. Proposal? Kill her. Excuse me? I said we should kill her. What? That's not the first time we've come to this conclusion. The concept of identity is fraught. When she experiences something, but I don't, what does it mean? <sighs> All right. Yes, I wouldn't even know where to begin. This is an important experiment. How many times have I told you? Actually, you haven't told me. Fine, not you. Some other one then. We are not telepathic. In which case, guessing through logical deduction creates an unacceptable margin of error. So no, I refuse to guess what you are that thinking. That was exactly my answer. Is a gross misuse of crucial research man So we're in agreement. Why do you ask? Just wanted clarification. It sounds awful. He's a pig. Besides, it wouldn't be fun. Our breach field work here is much more important. At the end of the loop, our breach will close. There will only be one of us. We would never risk breaking loop protocol for such a superfluous endeavor. Good. We're fully in sync, Wenji. Of course. Always. We're talking, and the clock is ticking. Which clock? Look, it's important. It's scientific. Your definition of relativity is quite broad, Wenji. Fine. But how many times have you done this? You, Wenji. The loop? The same as you. This is the first day. For all of us? Time is a stack of paper. It is not the tree that the paper comes from. Your theory... Our theory. There is no difference between us. What happens when our breach closes? Tonight, we go back to our respective timelines. Then try again tomorrow. Really? Using your stationary analogy, who is in my paper? Who is in my timeline? Don't fuck with me, Wenji. That overspoiled man has never opened a door for anyone. Incompetent pig. Atrocious. Doesn't even understand Lupine's social dynamics. The one thing he ostensibly cares about and he fucks it up. Imbecilic gathering. Ridiculous waste of resources. Terrible music. Worse than Igor. Almost. A masquerade. As if they didn't wear masks all day. Idiots. I'm not the type of man to get aggressive. Understand? I'm a gentleman. Chivalry matters where I come from. But you push and push and push and eventually, you know, I might push back. What is it, Igor? I'm not in the mood. I don't feel well. Absolutely curious, isn't it? First day, almost over. Well, in more ways than one. Colt was such a surprise. And we're just getting started. There's so much to learn. And you're making it easy for him. I am not. You are. You are standing right next to me, Igor. Do me a favor. Go the fuck away. Great. Starting the loop with my back out. Worthless. You missed me. Look, while we're in Congress, I wanted to discuss about the quantum mechanics. You know, it's almost impossible for me to admit this, but yes, I did miss you. You crazy bitch! I almost broke my neck! That's the idea! Stay away from me, Igor! Notes 
for today's breach experiment. One, due to Colt's betrayal, I had to link the security system to the depressurization controls. Sterilization will trigger only if the traitor is detected on the premises. Two, as per Evan's law of variation, the relevant security codes may be in a different location than in your timeline. Mine are in the bottom section of the lab annex. This is Dr. Wenji Evans. As the head scientist of the E.ON program, I was tasked with creating a highly interdependent thermodynamic system that would allow us to harness the vast energy produced by Black Roof's anomaly. With some ingenious reverse engineering, I was able to repurpose the stabilizer antenna to harness power from the anomaly and drive it into the core. By placing myself and the other visionaries at the center of the stabilizer core, I was able to imbue the anomaly's energy into us. Now we are the ballast. The visionaries are the loop. And I can still perform field tests on the breach phenomenon without endangering the program. Barring any failure of our protocol, which would be, well, catastrophic, we should experience the loop state every day for approximately 13,562 years. Shit. It's too bad I'm gonna end the program after 50. <clears throat> This will be my last recorded tape before the loop initiates. In less than an hour. The first day. The time is 23.42 in the evening. The date is... The date is... Whatever. It's 1963. An observation from this morning's early announcements. The notable leap in the skill and proficiency of Eternalists Colt and Juliana. Yes! And two truths have become apparent. One, the time loop has been active for some time, and both of them retain their memories from each loop iteration, while others, most notably ourselves, do not. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop interrupting me. If this is correct, we can reasonably assume that every day, for X amount of time, we have made similar observations. We then focused our efforts on preserving knowledge and memory across iterations. Which means, despite us being able to propagate this timeline, we have clearly repeated these early stages of research multiple times, without a breakthrough. An obvious conclusion, one we have likely made before to no effect. And so, these dubious experiments with residuum infusion, to retain items, trinkets, across iterations. If we can retain trinkets, perhaps we can retain ourselves. You are truly a peer. Computer science is actual science. I appreciate your minicom system. I am absolutely impressed. I want your brain in my brain. It's at night. Our breach will be closed. Which means there will only be one of us. It's dangerous. According to our calculations, all the visiting Wenjis will just slip back into their timelines and only leave one. Under no circumstances are we to leave this facility. Evans' second law of variation. Yes, I wrote it. We, Wenji, if the technology behind that door helps us create a stable breach, she will have to go. Repeat after me. I... State your name. I... State your name. I am about to perform a... I'm going to open your skull, Charlie. Shit, Wenji. Let me laugh a little. You asked me to remove the parts of your brain associated with empathy. Precautions are reasonable. I... Charlie fucking Montague. Being of sound mind and judgment. Being of sound mind and judgment. Do understand the risk of the surgery I'm about to undergo. Do understand the risk of the surgery I am about to undergo. And do fully absolve Dr. Wenji Evans of any consequences unforeseen or other. <laughs> Whatever. I swear I won't get litigious. Or violent. Or violent.